everybody. Good morning. We are back at Barrowburn. We are eventually getting around to doing part two of the recce series. Recce two ready for you. Weather is a little bit more settled today, isn't it? So it's cold though. It's very cold and it still looks a bit, I don't know, misty on the tops, isn't it? But yeah. So we've got Barrowburn to Windy Gale, Cheviot Summit, Bloody Bush Edge, and Cushat Law are the, the prominent peaks we're going to hit the day. We think it's about 20 miles, probably about four or five thousand foot of ascent, which obviously will we'll put the stats at the end for you. So let's go. Cool, yeah. Cold, yeah, it is cool. Here we go. Just thought I'd show you this little view above Barraburn and the valley below. It's absolutely gorgeous here. Right then, so the climb from Barrowburn, that's about a mile. Then you hit a reasonably flat section for a mile or so before we start to climb up towards Windy Gale. I think we're going to go up in the clouds again today. And as we've already mentioned, it's bloody freezing. Right then, as predicted, almost exactly two miles from Barrowburn, you start the climb up to Windy Gale. Now, Windy Gale is one of the highest in the Cheviots. We can't quite remember if it's fourth or fifth, so I'll put that down below with the height for you there. Obviously after that we'll have the highest, which is Cheviot. Following that, Bloody Bush Edge is also one of the highest, as is Kushat. Probably out of the top five, aren't they? So yeah, big climb coming. Graham probably forgot to mention that there is another climb before Windy Gale as well in this section. It's not massive, but it's uh, it's not gentle either. So yeah, there's after the flat section, one more climb down a bit, and then up Windy Gale after that. Right, and everybody, just in front of Lee, that is Windy Gale. Can't see the top today, unfortunately, because of the clouds and the mist. But it's quite a climb up. So, when you come to this fence, about 10 metres in front of you is the summit of Windy Gale. I'm sure you can just see it there. Should we just show them these just for the sake of it? Why not? There it is, coming into view now. That is Windy Gale Summit. But you are going to stay where Lee is and hang a right. I'm currently in Scotland, ladies in England, stay on the English side, that's where the flag posts are. So just before I was stopped by customs, what I was going to say was, if you stay on the English side, the path is better. There's also flagstones on the English side. We love our Scottish friends, but we uh, definitely have a better path up here on the English side which is heading down now to Cockalaw Foot. This is the Border Ridge. So just so you know, leaving Windy Gale Along these flagstones is a mile and a half before you drop down to Cockloe Foot. 
So we've arrived, little thing of post here. You can see that? Flannel Street, Cockmore Foot, two and a half miles. There we go, guys. Nice little view into Scotland for you. Dropping down into Cockmore Foot. Right, everybody, here we are. We are Cocklow Foot. And Lee, can you confirm this is the only piece of civilization that you will see today? Yes. Tilfley Court, yes. Apart from the mountain rescue hut, but yes. So you're going to get the mountain rescue hut at the bottom of uh, Cheviot. We'll see that in a few miles. And there's probably a couple of mountain rescue guys. Um, at the base of Chiri on the other side, isn't it? Last time they were at the mountain rescue hut with a Land Rover, and there was a couple of guys on the drop off which you that you pass to go to uh, the summit and then come back and drop off there. So, yeah, there's plenty of mountain rescue around. Just in case you get into trouble. Graham, Graham, do you know what this is here? This, this is. Bit. Of the climb up the hen hole. This is the start of the absolute horribleness <laughs> that is the climb. It's probably the biggest, biggest climb on the whole course. And it's not nice. Oh, look at it. Just coming into view. Oh, nice. Right, and so. Just next to Lee there, to the left of Lee, that is Cockmore Foot. We're kind of here, it's about a mile. Not many of you are going to be running that. I can promise you that much. Now, just popped into view. There, that's Hen Hole. That's a big ravine that leads up to Cheviot on the Scottish side. I can also see placed on top of that hill is the mountain refuge hut where you can take a little break from the weather if you wish uh, before you do the monstrous climb up to Ork of Cairn Right and guys we are arriving at the mountain refuge hut if you're in trouble or you want a break it's open for business 24 7 Ork up mountain refuge you want to show them inside lee quickly he's so not Lost. funny <laughs> not much to see sometimes some food chicken around in here Emergency supplies. Nice. Straight in front of me is College Valley. Leading down to Hethpool and the St. Cuspat Way. We are going up to this gruesome looking place here. This is Hen Hole. Leading up to Ork of Cairn, which is straight in front of us. Cheviot Summit. It's way over there and it's a lot further away than you think. You get to the top and you think, oh, I'm there. About a mile and a half. Yep. Yeah. So here we go. I think Lee's going to take a rather nice time lapse from the base to the top of Orkup. So hope you enjoy that. We'll see you at the top. It's about halfway up Hen Hole. If you see it, there's this little viewpoint. It's pretty spectacular. As you can see, we're just about to go into the clouds. Amazing.
by these misty shapes this is the top of Orgup Ken we're now going to hit a uh, load more flagstones take us to the top of Cheviot oh, that was some climb unfortunately guys you can't see a thing you normally get a spectacular view from up here hopefully it'll be clear on the day for you so next stop Cheviot Trick Point so here we go on the flat top after Arc of Cairn um, very similar to just after Windy Gale all these flags to run over a little bit hard on the knees but much prefer running on this than uh, running through that so there we go yeah it's pretty much like this till the summit of Cheviot at which point we'll turn around and have about half mile back and then drop off TV trick point. Hello to the lady enjoying the sandwich. Right, and return. Right, here we are at the drop off point, and thank goodness for that because that was freezing, wasn't it? Hard leg. Whoa, yeah, that wasn't fun. Whoa, hopefully, we'll get below these clouds. And we'll be able to see Bloody Bush Edge. You'll be able to see the little fence, the dry stone wall. Follow that down. So, right in front of me, guys, follow that tree line up. That is Bloody Bush Edge. When we get to the top there, we'll be turning left at the trig point, heading towards Kushat Law. Now, there's only about six or seven miles left, but the dip in front of me here is where all the horrible, horrible peat bogs are. Right. I, think I mentioned this on camera the last time because I was suffering. Bloody bush edge is that one in the distance, you can see a little bit of a tree line on it there. But in front of it here you've got one, two yeah. mounds before you get to climb the infamous bloody bush edge. So this, this is, this is a, it's not a hard section, it's just uncomfortable this section. It's it? very wet isn't it? Yeah. The lead's going to demonstrate its correct peat bog technique here. Oh look at that, that's a good one isn't it Lee? <laughs> oh my god, just to show you, this is like not quite knee deep, but oh, that's horrible. <laughs> is this the one that you fell into, Lee? I think it is. So, if you haven't seen it already, here is my favourite piece of footage that I've ever taken of Lee. Oh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, this is what we we'll, this is what we want to see. Oh yeah! Just a quick shot of Bloody Bush Edge Trig Point. Cracking view from up here, now the mists have cleared and we're going to follow the fence line to Kushat. Oh, 
here we are approaching the top of Kushat Law. That was a endless climb, I have to say. Cracking view though. Yep. I think we've got a mile left, haven't we? Right guys, we have completed Recce 2. Uh, just one really important visit, piece of information. We're obviously back here at Bleak Hope. Just to remind you, this is private land. We've got special permission to be here. You can't just come and park here. Please feel free to use the GPX file for reference and information, but do not come and park here. It's private. Yeah. Round of footage daily. Um, tough, but no any as tough as I remembered. So the worry of uh, section two being the hardest part. Um, no, I don't think I'm as worried anymore. It's no. pretty. No, uh, yeah, aye. Yeah, not as bad as I thought. A lot so, of climbing. A lot of climbing. A lot of bogs, but yeah. I th I think the bogs are worse on Colo Cam. Yeah. My personal opinion. What do you think? No, I think they're the worst ones, but they're not. They're not as bad as last year. Right. They're okay. not as bad as last year. Well, I think just finally before we go. We'd just like to thank our friends at Montaigne. Yep. And the Montaigne factory shop. Yeah. Because they've been looking after us the last few weeks, mm -hmm. so thanks guys. And of course Cold Brew themselves for allowing us to do these regular videos for them. Yeah. Really appreciate it. Hope it's been of uh, benefit to you guys. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you soon. Like and subscribe. <laughs>